Hello, in this video I will show you how to import photos from your smartphone into your Linux machine. In the first part I will show that with Linux Mint and at the second part I will show it for every other Linux distribution. So I would say let's start. In my case I have a Pixel 3a which is connected to the computer via USB and I selected the file transfer mode on my smartphone. On Linux Mint I'm going to start the program PIX. It is already pre-installed in Linux Mint so you can just open it up and at the right upper corner I select the burger menu here and select import from then removable device. I open that up. Normally the smartphone is recognized automatically and after some time the media loads in and you can import some files. We have to select them. I select in my case the first picture I want to import with a normal left click. Then go down to the point which is the last picture I want to import and while keeping my shift key pressed I do a left click on my mouse to the last picture and now every picture I want to import is now select. Then you can define the destination. I personally recommend you this code here. It does an automatic subfolder for every year and every month. I like that very much. So I select this one and select close. Now I can click on import and some seconds or minutes later the import is finished and we get all our pictures or photos on our Linux Mint which we can now watch or for example we can edit it further on. For example I select this picture here with a double click and on the right side I can open up here the edit file menu and um, now we can for example crop the image and select the interesting parts of this picture. And in the end I select accept here and now the picture is a bit more interesting in my case. You can also do some other things like rotating these pictures, mirror them or adjust the colors. This is how you can import and edit pictures very very fast on Linux Mint. So let us close PIX now here and let us head over to another method which you can do on every Linux PC. For that I'm gonna install a new program. At some computers it is already pre-installed but we have to check if it is installed and this program is called Shotwell. You can also use Digicam as an alternative but in my opinion Digicam has a few more functions but is a bit more complicated so I personally choose Shotwell in this configuration. We have to install Shotwell. You can do this in your software manager or in my case I'm doing this with the Linux Assistant. I put you a video about the Linux Assistant into the video description and I just search for Shotwell here and install Shotwell via Flatpak. This is completely okay and authenticate me here. After some seconds or minutes Shotwell is installed and we can just start it. At first it says welcome to Shotwell. I click on OK and then some pictures are imported which already are on your Linux computer and then we can import our pictures from in my case the smartphone. Um, at some points it could work that you could just select the camera here in my case it's Pixel 3a but in my test it didn't work at all to import them like this but there's another option to import them. I click on file import from folder and select the Pixel 3a and select OK. In the end I'm selecting copy photos and then all photos of in this case the smartphone are gonna import it. You see them it's looking great. This could take some time. In my case I only have 49 photos so this is finished in some seconds. I select OK and here we see our imported photos which are looking quite good. In my case this is completely okay. 
and here we have now our newly imported photos which are automatically sorted by year, month and day. You can look into it. I open up my file manager in pictures. Here we see our 20, 23, now the month and now the day and yeah I downloaded them all today so yeah <laughs> they are in the same day folder here but it's okay for me. So yeah you have your photos imported securely which is everything it counts and if you want to edit a photo in here let us open up our picture again and the controls are a bit in another place. Here we have some tools like rotate, crop, straighten, red eye, adjust, enhance which is kind of automatic but yeah I won't recommend that. You can undo this by for example go to photo and select revert to original and then this is fine and um, you can also adjust the photo a bit more into the photo menu here for example edit the title, edit the comment, adjust date and time for this picture if it has the metadata and uh, yeah it looks quite nice and in the end you can of course um, do a slideshow of your photos for example select view and select slideshow. Now we have a quite nice slideshow which we can also adjust here with a transition effect for example blinds and um, then yeah we have a very nice transition here and uh, yeah you can look to your pictures for example. So that was it for today. If you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and write me into the comments how do you import your photos. For example I personally using the Nextcloud app with an own Nextcloud at my home which uploads them automatically but this is much more complicated to configure especially if you don't have any Nextcloud at all and um, yeah this is the fast part. I like it very much and I'm recommending this to users who just want to get all pictures from the smartphone to the PC at a fast time. So that was it for today. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time. Bye.